Today's challenge... No, no. An unstoppable force of nature called Archie. We can't walk him on a lead. Anything he can get hold of, he will chew and destroy. <laughs> but worst of all... He's a very aggressive humper. <laughs> no, Archie, that, no. Every night. Actually, no, no, no. In Kent, Izel, boyfriend Sam, and their greyhound Rosie all thought another dog in the family was a brilliant idea. And so into their lives bounded Archie. Get it! No, Archie, no. A lurcher with super strength and a talent for absolute chaos. Arch has a lot of issues. It's horrible to say that your life has changed for the worst, but he's a nightmare. No. Oh. We've had quite oh. a few people say, why don't you just get rid of him? <laughs> I just feel like I've got this like constant headache. Archie first arrived at just two months. Good morning. But now, almost a year old, he still has no training and is completely uncontrollable. We can't walk him on a lead. If we see other dogs come in or other people come in, he'll jump up at them. If there's joggers that run past or cyclists, he'll try and chase after them. He went to puppy lessons and he was way too excited. And the women said, we can't have that here. I've actually had panic attacks because I just can't control him. Twice I was pulled over by Archie and I sprained my ankle both times. Even worse, post walk, he still has more than enough energy left to trash the house. Our bed, our side tables. Anything that's got corners that's wood, Archie will chew it. Anything he can get hold of, he will chew and destroy. The sofa that we're on at the moment is about a week old because uh, Archie chewed the hole in the other sofa. The biggest problem... The humping. Archie, that, no. Every night. Archie, no, no, no. He doesn't do it to me, he doesn't do it to anyone, my family, my friends, just Sam. No, no. Jumps up on me and just grabs hold of my leg, latches on and off he goes humping. He's a very aggressive humper. <laughs> With their lives, upholstery and Sam's dignity in tatters... Archie, Archie. This is a family no, in desperate no, need of Victoria's no, help. No, no. Lurchers were originally bred for hunting. They run at incredibly fast speeds. They are very tenacious. And it seems like the dog I'm meeting today fits those characteristics to a T. But this welcoming committee is just getting started. Well, oh, hello. Archie. What made you get a lurcher? Lack of research. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it was just cute as a puppy. Yeah. yeah, yeah at least you admit it, right? Yeah. Cute as puppies, and then and they then grow up. <laughs> and they grow long and big and fast. Yeah. yeah. And they like to chase things. Yeah. What is your life like on a day-to-day -day basis? Loud. Constantly, constantly barking. Yeah. Every day. Okay. All time. Um, uh, destructive. <laughs> so these very decorous holes in the wall. Archie's yeah. artwork. Yeah. Archie's artwork. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know I was meeting an artist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think it's maybe time to take him for a walk. Yeah. Because the barking's very loud. <laughs> yeah. Okay, come on then. Despite being a hunting dog, lurchers often make great family pets. Known to be loyal, affectionate and gentle, they usually love the company of humans too. They also love to run and chase and they need regular exercise. Because without this, that's when problems start. <coughs> Is 
this what a walk is usually like? Every time. Yeah. What have you actually done to teach him to walk on a lead? To be honest with you, there's not actually much we have done because we okay. actually don't know what to do. Okay, yeah. okay. No, that's good. I'd yeah. rather you say that yeah. than, yeah. than I know. We have to get this behaviour under control because this is no fun. No. no. Loving the opportunity to sprint, lurchers can easily reach speeds of up to 40 miles an hour. Oh my gosh, look, there is nothing more beautiful than seeing a sight hound run, except if they career into you. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> but it's even worse when instead they run amok at home. Time to look at this destruction, young man. Oh, look at the wall. And this here, is that you? I think it is. Hmm. He's chewed the bed here, chewed here. This dog needs a lot of outlets and is obviously not getting them. The final piece of the puzzle is finding out what's going on behind closed doors. No. And no, no, no. sure enough... No. 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 I'll cheat. Archie, no. It no. doesn't take long to catch no. Archie in the act. Literally. No. Watch out. No. no. So Archie barks at him, humps him, then he tries to move. And of course, while he's humping, then he's nipping as well. No. no. Oh, it got me good. Oh, he got oh, him in a very delicate place. <laughs> oh, oh. I don't think this is a sexual behaviour at all. No. I feel like this is play that gets out of hand. Archie, Archie, Archie. Archie, no. Come on. For Izelle and Sam to really understand where they're going wrong, Victoria's decided this is the perfect time for a metaphor. This bucket is Archie's energy and all of his frustration. The thing is, it just keeps on overflowing. And it will continue to overflow unless you give him outlets. If I pull this cork here, this outlet is for walking. This outlet is to help the destruction. And this outlet will help the humping. Which means even when you add more of Archie's limitless energy... It's never going to overflow. Do you see that? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Like, he hasn't been able to let out his energy, so he has just always been up here all the time where we want him here. If you do not give him outlets, I'm telling you, his behaviour's not going to get better. It's going to get worse. The first step to ending the destruction and the chaos is exercise, but making it safe. <laughs> Using a double-ended lead with two connection points. Let's go. Good boy making it easy to gently steer Archie in the right direction. So, as you can see, I'm just walking him with one hand. I'm not being pulled because it's leading the dog by the chest, but I also have the added safety of still having a connection on the shoulders as well. So, you're using this lead like the reins of a horse. Let's go. The contrast couldn't be greater. It looks like he's Good about to go into like, a competition or something. <laughs> if this was a normal harness, he would be all Pulling over us. the place. Yeah, definitely pulling us. Now, I'm going to step it up a bit and I'm going to show you how to do figures of eights. This makes you unpredictable. Good, let's go. Good. Yes. Plenty of encouragement. Good boy. Yes, good boy. By being unpredictable and changing direction, Victoria is making sure Archie learns to pay attention to her. Sometimes I might walk into him, not away from him, so he has to keep his focus on me. Oh, you better focus on me, buddy. <laughs> Good. But now comes the real challenge. Izelle has to finally face her fear of walking the dog. Stop. Good. Nice. Sit. Good boy, wait. Giselle, it's your turn. If he does that for me, that is a miracle. <laughs> You're in the driver's seat now. How does it feel holding the lead? 
Scary. <laughs> Definitely scary. Take it slow. He'll listen to you. OK. Turn around. Go on. Say, let's go. Let's go. Good. Good boy. See how he comes around with you? Get him on your left-hand side. Good. Good boy. Relax that lead. Nice. Look at that. You're walking Good. without him pulling. Give me Good boy. Good. Now I want you to walk into him. Don't step on him, but he needs to focus on you. Good boy, come in. Good boy. Again, turn around. Very nice. Well done, Papa. I've never seen him like that before, with his L especially. I'm just speechless, to be honest with you. So, uh, yeah, I'm really happy. Really happy. It doesn't feel real. <laughs> I'm barely holding it. Like, he's so with me. It's like we're walking together instead of him walking me. It's amazing, <laughs> honestly. I think next stop is the show ring for you. OK. <laughs> Archie, sit. Very nice. Good boy. With Archie on his best behaviour outside, now comes the bigger challenge. What happens once this energetic pup arrives home? The destruction in your house. Eating the walls. The floors, then in your bedroom, the sofa. It's not good. It's a lot of money to replace things that he's destroyed. Well, that was a comfortable sofa. <laughs> yeah, it was a comfortable sofa, not anymore. I'm telling you that this dog is bored. He just wants to go, whoa! <laughs> yeah. He wants to run. He wants to chew. He wants to do all of the things lurchers are really good at doing, but he's not given that outlet. He's not given enough enrichment. But even the thousands of pounds in damage doesn't quite compare Archie, no, no. to Archie's other no, form no. of stress relief. Archie, no, no, no. Oh, Sam. Oh, no. This is more than humping. He's humping, he's nipping, he's biting at you. But when you started to try and say no... Started getting a bit aggressive. And that worries me. We don't want him to go, oh, full-on bite, because he hasn't done that yet. So we must stop this behaviour right now. No more. While Izelle and Sam watch remotely, Victoria has a technique for entering the living room unscathed. Archie comes to greet you. You say hello. Then wait for him to be calm before you walk through. If he jumps up, you step behind the baby gate again. And you just wait until he's calm. A step Sam may have to repeat again and again and again. You just have to keep going because there's going to be a time when you step through and he has four on the floor. Then you can ask him to lie down, ask him to touch my hand, some kind of activity to do because all of that energy has to go somewhere. Redirecting Archie's energy onto a task will help him settle. And it's that time to think that is going to be the big difference between whether he humps you or whether he doesn't. Do you think you can do that? I'll give it a try. OK. <laughs> but no touching, no nothing, until he's calmer. It might even take you 10, 15 minutes. He's had a long habit, but you stick to your guns. All right, Sam, go for it. No more <laughs> humping. That's it. It's going to be a thing of the past. With Victoria in his ear. OK, Sam, give it a couple of seconds. And watching his every move, this brave dog owner is going in. Walk through the gate, let's just see what he does. No, 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 no. Watch it, no. 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 Go back behind the gate. Sam, what you're going to do is you're going to wait just for a few seconds of quiet and calm, and then you're going to walk through. Though with Archie's almost limitless energy, this could take a while. All right, in, in, Sam. Good boy. Good. Good boy, sit. Well done. Cool. Good boy, there you go. Nice. Lovely. OK, so walk through. Well done. Really good, really good. He had perfect timing there. 
The challenge is going to be when this scenario is for real. At first, it was quite difficult to do, but gradually, I've got the hang of it. It is worth it 100%. I know with time that if Sam sticks to this, this training is going to work. And Victoria has another up her sleeve, called a flirt pole. It taps into his instinct to chase. Yes, good boy. Always let your dog win. <laughs> this is the kind of activity a lurcher needs. Let him chew on it for a bit. When he uh, lets go, it suddenly goes again. See how much he loves it? Yeah. Now, I don't want this to become a game of tug. I'm not foolish enough to go get that one, but I do have another one. Go get that. The best way to satisfy a dog's instinct to hunt is engaging them in activities that allow them to do what they love. Hide and seek and trekking are great outlets for dogs with energy to burn. Meanwhile, reprimanding bad behaviour will achieve little. Instead, it's better to reduce their exposure to triggers, redirect their attention, and of course, reward good behaviour. All right, Izel, you've got the chase toy. Let him off the lead, tell him to wait. Wait. And then give him a game. Good. Very nice. He's going to chase things whether you teach him to chase or not, because that's his instinct. But that's the beauty of this game. You're allowing your dog to do what he was bred to do, but in a controlled way. How does that feel, Azel? I feel like we're understanding each other better. Before, he was, like, screaming at me, saying, like, why don't you understand me? Now he's like, OK, she gets it now. <laughs> He yeah. agrees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, would he ever just be lying? There's no way. <laughs> no, he'd be over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's lovely to see it, I have to say. You're at one with your dog now, not at odds. Yeah. At one with your dog. Good boy. It's been a real pleasure getting to work with you and Archie. We've learned so much. We've got an improvement already. I feel a lot more confident now, and we're on the right path, and we will carry on. Well, good luck. Keep working, and I look forward to seeing your progress. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Over the next few weeks, Izel and Sam can't believe Archie's transformation. You don't give up until he's literally tired. Now he's getting both the physical and mental stimulation he needs. I've gone all dizzy. <laughs> the lead pulling, destruction and humping are slowly disappearing. All right, you come here. Good boy. Good boy. To see for herself, Victoria's joining their morning walk. Look at that. Yes! Oh, my gosh. It's so lovely to see that you're not being dragged. How's it been going? It's been working very well. <laughs> I definitely feel more confident and not as stressed and scared. I can actually walk my dog, which I never thought I'd be able to do before. I can see I was moving into a house with a big garden. There's no holes in the wall. There's no floorboards being ripped up. We've got a nice sofa that hasn't been chewed up by Archie. That's amazing. I can see that happening now. Thank you for that. Thank you. You're welcome and good luck. You've done a great job. Just keep doing more of it. Like so many people, Izel and Sam got a puppy and really didn't know how to raise him. Now, with the training, they are on track. I truly believe this family, they're going to be very happy together. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.